okay, certainly a tough game. Um, you know, got out coached, got out played. Um, you know, made a change in the fourth quarter when it was 28 to three. We had 100 yards just to create a spark. Daniel will be the quarterback uh, going forward. Um, but obviously, we didn't do enough offensively. You know, hardly had any yards, no points. Defensively, I thought we battled hard. We had two big runs in the in the first half, and then that fourth down to AJ, and then the game kind of got away from us. They ran the ball, um, but just not not a good day all the way around. No excuses. Um, got to play better, coach better. Dave, you talked about a spark in the fourth quarter. Did you did you think at all? Maybe did you think about maybe early in the game to provide that spark by making the change? Yeah, I thought it was. Look, it was. The score didn't get out of hand. Um, you know, I thought we we had some chances there to to make some plays. Um, just didn't make them. Um, wasn't going to take them out then. Um, just look all, all the way around for not just quarterback, coaching, the, the everything. Just wasn't good enough. There have been games in the past where you've gotten outscored by a lot and not scored a lot of points. So what One more time. I'm sorry. There's been games in the past where you've been lopsided and not scored a lot. So why yeah. today made you think this was? I just go it, it was it was you know we had 100 yards. So I was trying to create some type of juice and uh, maybe make a few plays and, and you know swing the momentum a little bit, but uh, that didn't happen. What do you think is wrong with the offense right now? Obviously, you said 119 yards yeah. in, uh, in a game. Yeah, just not good enough all the way around, Jordan. Is there anything that you look at and say that this area is that we need? To well, the two the two better. areas that you know we continue to work on, uh, actually three over and over again, are our third down red zone and explosive plays, and another game where. You know, I don't know what our longest play was. It couldn't have been too long, 14 yards. I don't know what it was, but it's hard to, to generate points when your you know, longest play is 14 yards or your longest play last week is 15 yards. So uh, you can do that one of two ways, catch and run, things like that, or push the ball down the field and uh, you know, give our guys some chances or go up and make some plays. Uh, we're continuing to work on that. Those are two areas that you know, we put a lot of time and effort in, and you know, we're not getting the results not equaling the work and the effort that we're putting into it. So, um, you know, those are two areas. Brian, you mentioned earlier in the week um, when Andrew was out that we can't replace him. Yeah. You know, but we have to obviously how to replace sure. him. Um, um, how, how, how upsetting was it to you that the offensive line played so poorly? I mean, I know he's not there, but. Yeah, you know. I'd like to go back and, and look at it, Paul, and really evaluate. You know, we try to do some different things that we haven't done. Namely, we, we jammed, you know, a fair amount, uh, particularly in those throwing situations. Uh, Try to give some presence to the edge on the, on the left side, uh, but to, to sit up here and give you an evaluation of it all right now, that would that would be unfair. Why not change the Why not change the O line mid games before you bench the quarterback? Yeah, I mean, look, the quarterback. It was it was twenty eight to three. I, I gave you the reason why I did it. Look, there were some things that again, I don't want to get into the evaluation process, Pat. We'll go back and we'll take a look at it. Well, generally, first, do you have any issues with effort today? Uh, no, I'm going to go back and, and watch it all. These guys have been have been busting it, um, you know. Again, when the score is what it is, make no excuses. None of it was, you know, where it needs to be. Specifically, Deontay on the hurt scramble seemed like he did not. Get yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go back. We'll take a look at all that stuff, Dan, and whatever we need to address, we'll address. But uh, you guys are putting effort into it, you know, each and every week. We're just, you know, unfortunately not getting the results. And it's a results business. That wasn't something that you need to address in the moment. Yeah, look, I'm not going to get into the to the sideline of the coaching part of it, but um, you know, look, none of it was good enough today. Why not bench a guy for that? Yeah, I, I'm not going to get into uh, none of it was good enough today. Leave it at that. How concerned are you about the way this looked? Right, obviously Saquon's on the other side. Yeah, we know our ownership stood on what they felt of him, and you know he has a big game against you, and you guys can't do anything. Yeah, no, he him. played well, and you know, like we said, he gets the base. He's going to make some yards. Um, you know, he played well. Particularly there in the second half, you know, the, the, the first half he got that, that edge there, uh, played well. Um, we prepared for it. Um, yeah, just not good enough. You get a sh right at the end of the first half, and I know you didn't have any timeouts. You made the decision to kick a field goal instead of maybe taking a shot at the end zone. Just yeah. what was your thought process there? Just thought it was the best thing to do. What about punting in, in uh, the first quarter? I believe you run in 40 something, and you, third, fourth and three. Yeah. What was that? I thought it was the best decision. Why? Uh, you know, I talk with the with the guys upstairs. We make the decision we think is best for the team. As you as you were calling plays, um, 
Um, did you get a sense that you could not do a lot of the stuff that you wanted to do because Daniel was not secure in the pocket at all? Yeah, you're, you're always you're always changing based on how the game is going. Um, but again, make no excuses. Not good enough. Dave, do you, do you see any common threads for the struggles offensively today that lingered from the Bengals game? Because last yeah, week no, you, like I was ta talking when Jordan asked. I mean, the, the explosive plays. Uh, 20 yard plus plays. When you have big plays in a drive, it, it really ups your chances. Converting on third down, which you know, we didn't have, I don't know, three or 14, was it? Something like that. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to sustain drives. If you're not creating big plays and you're not converting on third downs, um, and some of that is a result of first and second down, some of the sacks and negative plays that we took. We haven't been going backwards a whole bunch, but um, Again, not, not good enough anyway when you look at it. When you, when you identify those as the issues, yeah. there are ways that, you know, you're obviously going to try to fix it. Whatever you try to do for yeah. this week didn't work. So do yeah. you go back to the drawing board? Do you try to make Yeah, we try to give changes? as many reps as we can in those critical situations. You know, you only have so many reps you can give. But third down, red zone, uh, pushing the ball down the field, those are things we work at, um, you know, I'd say every single day. Um, and it's not where it needs to be. Brian, Brian, uh, yeah. a game like today can leave players demoralized. Are you concerned yeah. about that in your locker room? Yeah, no. I mean, look, no one was happy about the result. Uh, I think we have a strong group. Uh, you need to have a strong group in this league. There's a lot of ups and downs. Unfortunately, we've had more downs. Um, but our guys will, will come back, we'll regroup, and we'll do everything we possibly can do like we do each week to, you know, to be at our best on Monday night. With Banks. Do you think not benching him when the CD Lamb play happens allows something like this to happen in a later game? Yeah, I'm not going to. Again, we'll, we'll keep you know the conversations we have in house um, about really technique, fundamentals, effort, anything like that. We'll keep that in house. You really haven't been able to create explosive pass plays with Daniel in three years. What gives you confidence that he can do it? You know, you'd, you'd like to. You know, we have some some guys around him that I think can can create explosive plays. Um, and we'll just go back to the drawing board and, and do the very best we can to, you know, uh, try to improve that area, which, you know, for two weeks in a row, but, uh, you know, it's been a little bit longer than that. We've, we haven't created them. Um, and we need to. Do you, consider two, Daniel, two more, two more. you consider Daniel a limitation to what you could do on offense? No, no. Nope. You, you get a chance to talk you to came out and what was After that? the game? I say congratulations to him. Um, I just saw him after the game real quick. He was... Surrounded, I waited for him for a minute and, and told him congratulations. We had a good game. You uh, came yeah. out throwing today. Yeah. You know, you know, I mean, that's obviously you saw something that you wanted to try to exploit. Um, was that the reason you, you know? Yeah, I thought we had some space in there. I thought there was, again, some opportunities. Um, you know, and we just, you know, for whatever the reason may be, we just we didn't get it done. Daniel, I'm sure if it was that easy to fix and it was just one or two things to fix, you guys would have been able to fix it during the game. So in general, what was the most difficult aspect of this game offensively? Um, I think just our execution wasn't there. Um, yeah, I mean, third down was obviously an issue, uh, sustaining drives and getting the rhythm. So uh, frustrating. Um, you know, look at the tape and see where uh, where we can improve and uh, certainly uh, look at myself and see where I need to improve. Yeah, it was frustrating. Um, you want to be out there playing with your teammates and, and fighting to score points and, and move the ball. And um, yeah, so I was frustrated. Um, yeah, but not my decision. But yeah, frustrating for sure, and want to be out there um, playing. Did they bring more pressure than normal? They brought some pressure here and there. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more than they normally do, but nothing completely out of the ordinary. What did Jermaine share with you? I saw you st talking with him on the sideline there. I think just talking about going forward from here and, and where we where we need to go. Um, you know, kind of supporting each other and. Having each other's back, I think um, you know we have a, a good group of guys, and uh, you know it's a, uh, a critical time for us to come together and, and uh, you know support each other's players, and um, you know ignore the the noise or the uh, 
you know, wherever that's coming from and, and stick together as, as players and teammates and, uh, and move forward, address what we need to address and, and continue to improve. Daniel, how much of a, of a hand grenade was it to have that touchdown pulled off the board at the end of the first half when you hit Theo Johnson and they, they called the penalty? Yeah, tough break there, um, that penalty. And, uh, you know, we'll go back and watch it. I didn't think, you know, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what, what, it, what it looks like on film. Um, but, yeah, tough to, tough to lose that one. So you didn't see it as the play developed. You didn't, you didn't see any, any contact. Yeah, I mean, we'll go back and we'll go back and look at it. Um, thought he ran a good route. Thought he got open and um, tough to lose that one. What is your personal approach to trying to recover and rebuild after a game such as this? Uh, obviously, there's physically th physical things on the field that need to be addressed, and and uh, you know you do that. In the film room, you do that at practice, um, and there's also, you know, a mental piece of it, and, and how we, you know, move forward, how we, uh, you know, continue to build confidence and and uh, you know build build belief and, and spirit, and you know, all those things are important uh, as we go forward. One thing we always talk about with an offense is having some balance. Could not get much of a running game going in the first half either. How much of a detriment was that to trying to do what it was you were trying to do? Um, yeah, I mean, we didn't uh, didn't run the ball much in the first half. Um, so, yeah, tough to get much going when when you don't run it. But, uh, you know, still opportunities. Got to convert the opportunities. Daniel, sorry, I just got here. What was your immediate reaction when Dable took you out? Yeah, I was frustrated. Um, want to be out there. Want to be playing with my teammates. and trying to score points. So, uh, yeah, I was frustrated and, um, yeah, didn't, I mean, <laughs> didn't like it, obviously. Do you feel like, do you feel like there's a lot more issues or the offense is not functioning for a lot of reasons and that it's, for lack of a better word, not fair to pin it on you? Um, as a quarterback, I think it's my responsibility to, to get everything going and, and um, Build, you know, build rhythm, build, build momentum, execute the opportunities that are there, um, and I take that seriously. So I'll certainly look at myself, look at myself first, and see where I can improve. Um, football's a team game, and, and it takes, you know, everybody playing well. But uh, I got a big role in that, and take that very seriously. How did you, concerned? Did you, did you feel secure in the pocket today? It seemed like this was the shakiest pocket you've had this season. Yeah, I think, like I said, we'll go back and look at it. Um, I think uh, see where I can get the ball out of my hands quicker. Certainly, were some opportunities to do that. Um, they've got a good pass rush. Good credit to them with that. Um, but yeah, I'll go you know go back and look at where I could have helped out. Considering you know, Dable said it was uh, told you for the to try to give the team a spark. Considering that, how concerned are you about your standing long term as the quarterback, starting quarterback of the Giants? I'm just going to continue to. Um, prepare and, and uh, try to play as well as I can. Um, Dayball can, you know, it's his team and, and uh, up to him to make those decisions. Um, obviously, I believe in myself and believe, you know, in this offense. So um, I'm just going to focus on myself. Did you guys have some conversation when he made his decision, you and Brian? Uh, it wasn't much of a conversation, though. Was it what do you say? Is just said he's going to go with Drew, uh, looking for a spark. Um, so that was about it. Was it difficult to see Saquon thriving for them and not you? Um, yeah, I mean, um, he played a good game. I'd say overall our defense played well, um, you know, with the exception of some of those runs. But they played well. And, and uh, yeah, tough to see Saquon do that. He's obviously a good player. We know that very well. Daniel, is there a common denominator in the inability to, to create explosive plays you know, week after week for you guys? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we'll, we'll look at the film and see where we missed some. Uh, it's my job to, to convert those opportunities and, and give guys chances to make plays. So look at where I can, where I can do better. Um, and, you know, I think at times this year we have created explosive plays. So, you know, going back to look at 
you know where those opportunities came from and and how we can generate some more. Daniel, um, after the um, uh, game just now, uh, Brian said that you are the quarterback moving forward. Um, um, does that? help in any way or does getting benched you know sting too much and you can't even think about that right now i'm just gonna prepare uh go about my week doing what i need to do to prepare to play play good football and uh you know how he sees that you know the decisions he wants to make is you know it's on him it's a fair question for him i'm just gonna focus on myself I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In case you didn't hear, he said you are the quarterback going forward yeah i'm confident in myself and i'll be ready to go how are you feeling physically I feel good. I feel good, yeah. Malik, a day when the offense never seemed to get any traction, how difficult is that to deal with as the game is going on? I mean, it's very difficult. I mean, just got to do a better job of just making plays and protecting the quarterback and trying to do our best to score points. I mean, our defense did a hell of a job playing a good game. I mean, it's hard when you're going three and out and they get back on the field, they're tired. We got to give our defense some time to get some breathing so when they go back out there, they're, they're still playing at a high level. Was there anything about the Eagles' defense, especially in the first half, that they were doing differently that maybe you had not seen on film? Nah, I mean, nothing really different. I mean, watch the target tape. That was it. I was open. Mm -hmm. That was it. Another game when you didn't get the running game going as an offense, and I'm sure you'll always tell us that you got to have both because if there's no balance, it makes it real difficult on the pass. I mean, yeah, but again, that's not my job. My job is to run routes, get open, catch the ball. Right. Willie, how did you feel out there first game back after the after the trip? Uh, it felt good. It felt good. You had, four, you had four catches early in the first half and then didn't get the ball in the second half. Just any difference between the two halves? Uh, I mean, no. Like I said, you can, I was open. I'm going to assume that in your career, whether it was high school or college, you've never had such a slump like this in terms of a team slump. Uh, how do you deal with it psychologically, knowing that you've been a winner your whole career? I mean, I ain't been on teams where I lost all games in the season. I mean, I ain't been on games. I mean, been on teams where I lost ten games. I mean, it's, the game is the game. I mean, the outcome of the game is the outcome of the game. The outcome of me is going out there and playing. That's nice. how I know how to play. I know how to play football. That's what I'm doing. Is there a way, like you said, you've been on a team that, which maybe did not do well. What is the easiest way or the best way to pick up the pieces after a game like this? Do you just forget it, flush it, or do you go back and do you agonize over all the stuff that didn't go right? I mean, watch watch film about it. See what you can do better. Um, you know, like I said, just continue to go out there, next play mentality. Um, put the game behind you, next game up. You just continue to think about this game going into the next game. It can lead out to the same thing, lead out to the same outcome. So just flush it in, move on to the next week. Next week is a new game. Next week is a new opponent. Next week is a new week. Can't hang your head. Just got to focus on next week. Obviously, they had, they had a big day rushing, even beyond St. Juan. They had 270 yards. Yeah. Too much to give up. Yeah. It's too much to give up. You're right. I think towards the end of the third quarter, they had, I think, uh, Hawkins got hurt, and there was this, you know, couple of minutes. He was standing in front of you guys. What was he saying? Uh, you know, just talking back and forth a little bit. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy. Just talking back and forth. Typical garbage stretch. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Dexter, for the most part, I thought your defense in the first half was really scrapping and staying in it. Had two big plays that had to be really kind of shots to the jaw. Yeah, exactly. Um, like I've been saying, like we knew coming to this game, all 11 of us had to do our job. And, you know, if one person didn't, that's what they found a big play. And uh, and that's tough because, you know, that's, you know, you go out there and everybody, you know, we want to do our 11, but when you don't, you know, explosive like that happen and uh, it's not acceptable. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. Thank you, Thanks. I, I, know, I know you may have uh, the way that this went down, with it being Saquon and the second, does it sting more for you? Or is it... I, I mean, me and Saquon are friends. Like I don't, it's, it's, I don't have no beef against him or anything like that. Uh, the Eagles beat us, and he's a part of the Eagles, and that's what it is. Does nine sacks mean anything to you at this point? No, we yeah. keep losing. <laughs> to lead the league in sacks though, from a nose tackle position is, is pretty rare. Like you're in that spot right now. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you 
what do you make of that? Uh, you know, it's, it's not just me, honestly. It's, it's the game plans, it's the DBs covering, it's the guys outside of me rushing as well. Um, you know, I, I do what I can when I can. Um, you know, whenever I get that one-on-one -on -one or whenever I got to hustle to a ball or, you know, effort plays, uh, it's, it's, it's more than what, you, what the numbers say that goes along with me getting sacks. How you feeling physically, Frank? I'm good. Mark. You guys seem to be really stoked early to stop Saquon, and you did that. Um, so stoked? I mean, you guys seem really excited to stop Saquon, and you did that early in the game. Um, I wouldn't say that. What's that? I wouldn't say he's super okay. excited. Okay, so it's just another running back. That, well, that's what it is to me. I okay, mean, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Um, how you assess how you guys did? Obviously, you broke some really big plays. So, um. Early on, it was effective. Um, later in the game, I felt like they were able to stay on um, stay on course more than we would like them to. You know, they had a couple uh, plays hit, so they smelled blood in the water and, you know, kept running those plays. It's just up to us to, you know, to adjust and fix it. Why do you think they were able to, why they were able to stay, stick on course as the game went on? Didn't stop the, um, what was it? It was some type of read option pull. Didn't stop it, and um, they just they set it up in different ways, and they just kept running that play, pretty much. And he was finding the crease, and you know he's a great back, so he made some things happen. Brian, for the most part, defense had held up pretty well first half. It was 14-3. What was the mentality at halftime coming out from the third quarter? Um, they had a couple explosives that led to points. Um, the main thing was just trying to eliminate those, you know. Um, that run by Saquon on that pass on the left side, on our sideline to AJ. Uh, yeah, so one and a half is really those two plays that, that really hit big for them, and we were just trying to eliminate those. You guys had a lot of pressure and sacks early, um, but they didn't need to throw the ball much in the second half, did they? I mean, is that, you almost feel like you let them off the hook because, you know, you guys couldn't score, so you guys couldn't pass rush really. Um, yeah, I mean, that goes part with them staying on course. Uh, you know, in the second half, they had a decent lead. Um, if if you if you know, like, uh, one of our strong suits is our D-line, why let them hunt? So, and then also, like I said, they smell blood in the water. Saquon hit a couple runs due to our undisciplined uh, mistakes, I guess. And they stuck with it. Kept moving. Penalty at the end of the first half takes one of your offense's touchdowns off the board, and you're going to settle for a field goal. How critical was that as a potential deflator for your team? Super. Um, I mean, I feel like that could have, you know, gave us some energy, gave us some momentum back. Um, yeah, I see, I see that touchdown, but you know, maybe I'm a little biased. Did you, did you think they could block you guys? You know, if it was a game where they straight needed, up, yeah, if they needed, to, if they no. needed to throw the ball 30, 35 times. No, straight up, no. Brian, what's the key to you know just flushing this loss and rebuilding the confidence that you have that it takes to go for next week? Um, <clears throat> pretty much just having that relentless mindset. You know, we got a game Monday night versus the Steelers, and um, you know, that's another big game, uh, another opportunity to you know put the league on notice uh, and really just do our part. You know, so. How confident are you, you know, it's week seven that you guys can still turn things around? Yeah, it's a long season. Um, I've been around long enough to see crazier things happen. Um, and you know, you know how I be, how, how I go. Uh, you know, there's always ups and downs and, and there's always teams that go on long streaks. So, you know, we're just trying to find our wave and hit it and um, ride as long as we can.